<clears throat> Alrighty then, uh, I'm gonna, as previously aforementioned, Charlie, this is hot. He's so, he so much wants to be a part of everything I'm doing around here. I'm about to go out and change the oil <clears throat> in the RV. And the last time I did that, I took y'all all up under there with me, and we spent some time underneath the vehicle. And I showed you how I did it. And I don't think I'm gonna do all that this time because y'all done seen that once. I think what I'll do instead, because I'd kind of like to get that done today. I also have an idea about how to waterproof the underneath of it. Waterproof, no, wash the underneath of it. And since we have sun today, and I think it's all the way up to, what is the temperature? It's like 26 yesterday. <clears throat> Take a look here. Um, oh, we're all the way up to 49 degrees. That's almost a heat wave for us. So, um, so the other thing I'll do, if the sun holds up, if the warm weather holds up, is I'll, uh, Go ahead and uh, uh, put some kind of protective coating on that thing. And let me cut the camera off while I get in place. I'll go get the door change done and then we'll post it from there. I don't know if anything I said or did so far got recorded. I think it probably didn't. <clears throat> That's okay though. I'm about to uh, go change the oil on the big Ford RV. Uh, Last time I did this, I took all up underneath there with me to show you. I guess I could do that again. What the heck? I started to say there's videos of me doing this out there before, but some of y'all don't know where the videos are, and some of y'all might have a big Ford V10 2005 E450 that you need to change the oil on. And basically, it's pretty simple uh, and pretty quick. All you do is Put your pan up under there. Loosen that nut. There. And then use an oil filter wrench to take that oil filter off. You spin that one off. You spin the new one back on there. And you are. Should be good to go. Uh, I'll see if I can find a place to set the camera. I'll let you watch me pop that screw out of there. Okay. That might be as good as it's gonna get there. We'll try that. Let y'all watch the whole thing. So all I'm gonna do here is just let the oil drain out of this baby. As soon as she stops, I'll put the plug right back in there. Tighten it up, then we'll pop this filter off, put the new one on, then we'll pour five quarts of fresh new oil down in the motor, and that'll be done. Next thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to get me a water sprinkler and I'm going to put it underneath this thing. And I'm going to let it blow sprinkly water out from underneath it to try to wash off the undersides of it from where it was out being driven on the snowy salted roads recently. And that's going to be the thing I'm going to do after I do it with this thing. Yeah. Plant. Let that run for a little bit longer. Okay, now I'll get that oil filter off. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, Brad. When are you going to go on the road again? Oh, probably about. Uh, Probably about the end of January. After January. So my neighbor stopped by. We was out there chitter chattering around. I don't know if uh, if y'all are still running or not. Basically, I just hand tighten these filters on. You 
tighten them too hard, you have a hard time getting them off. Uh, so, I'm all done under here if I can get this bucket out of here without making a bigger mess. Uh, all I gotta do is add some oil from up top and we'll be good to go. It's a little bit fullish here. But maybe I can get it. Maybe I can get it without spilling it. We'll see. I'm go get my little, uh, my little thing, my funnel thing. <laughs> 